Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a customer. First of all, we are going to create a customer using the REST API and after that we are going to use the theme lib. So you can see at least one UI. So suppose you have a backend application and frontend application at different places or you just want to call your backend API from somewhere else. So on that time, you can just create the rest api for the front end side you can use any technology like uh, react js angular and whatever you want so first of all if you go to the stripe website and you can see developer here option and just go and click on full api reference so stripe already have their document you can use you can go through that one it will definitely help you to understand and here you can see one section is called customer section so already they have five in points that is called five api so our first approach we need to create a customer right so you can see here create a customer and here you can change the coding language so we are just going to create using the Java so this is a Java code and this is the request parameter it can be address description email metadata name and they have multiple inputs and once the customer will be created successfully you can see their response so here the customer ID is always important this is the unique things so let's move to the code side so in last video we have created a controller so this controller I'm just going to use for the theme lib so for the API I'm going to create a new controller so just copy this name go to the new class I have given the name as a API so we can understand this API means only the rest API give here rest controller so we need to create a POSO class like a model class so we can pass our input like name, email, address and whatever so for that we need to create one model class so just go and create one package I'm going to give like a model so I'm going to give the name as a customer data so what are the variable name we can give so definitely you can go and see here right name, description, email and I need to give the ID so for starting purpose I'm just going to give name email and customer ID so here you can create either like get and set method or if you don't want to create get and set just use Lombok dependencies so I'm just going to create simple get and set approach go to the source click get and setter select all and this is our POJO class so we are going to use this class for request and response both things so just copy this whole name so here we are going to call our model class so because we need to send the response and we need to also input data as a same class and after that we need to import that class and for the mapping we can say like it will be like create customer and I need to differentiate between our rest API and the theme leaf so I'm just going to give the name as a API and here I'm going to just return this data for the testing purpose only so here you can either create like request mapping or you can create like request mapping value and you can give the method name as a post method so I'm just going to give a notation like a request body so a spring boot will be automatically understand it is a post method so now I need to run our application how we can test this one so I'm just going to use the postman postman is a good application you can test your API if you have other alternative application you can try it you can see right our application is running at 8080 port so I'll just give the name like localhost and the application endpoint is slash API slash create customer and the method will be post method because we are passing in the body so just go to the body click raw text as a JSON so here what we are going to pass so this is our request class so it can be name email or customer ID customer ID I'm just keeping for the output like whatever data we are going to get from the stripe so give the name so it will be like key value pair so key will be name 
and the value you can give like abc the key will be email and it will contain a dummy email id right so if you call currently what will be happen you can see right we are getting same thing customer id as a null because we are just sending the same response so what is the code for create customer we just saw right so i'm just going to use same code so when you are going to import the customer dot create on that time it will ask you want to either throw exception or surrounded by try and catch you can select any one right so here what are the fields we are going to define so if you go to their document you can see right description email metadata name right so i'm just going to send what are the request we are going to pass so name will be data so same thing we need to create for email also so please make sure the key name must match with the their document name right and after that imagine we have created the customer successfully right so i'm just going to set the customer id so data dot set customer id so it will be like customer dot get id right so this customer is here as type customer so if you open here you can see right all the params right so just save and try to run your application just call that same api here you can see right it is we are getting 500 error so why we are getting let's go and check see here it is showing like no api key provided right so if you remember last time i told we have to always provide the rest api key so if you are not going to provide you are also going to get same error so just copy and if you see here still we are missing this name right so what you have to do just come copy right and equal to our stripe key right so now again stop the server and start once again so just go click and here you can see right here we are getting customer id that means the customer has been created so how you can cross check just go refresh and you can see right abc this is the name of our customer and this is the email id we have given so in next approach we are going to see how to create same customer using the theme leaf